Hey everyone, I've been in the market for a new pool cleaner for a while, so today I'm going to be trying out this cordless robotic pool cleaner from Boo Blue called the BooBot 300P. I'm going to quickly show you the unboxing of this and give you an idea of how it operates, and then at the end I'll tell you what I think of how it performed. A few items that stood out just right off the bat from the box is the uh, battery life of 90 minutes, charging time of 3 hours, pool size of uh, 850 square foot maximum, which means this will cover you know any of your small to medium sized pools, and then a water depth um, of around 10 feet. Okay, so everything pulled out of the box, there's only three things in there. You've got your uh, user guide, you've got your unit here that comes all pre-assembled, and then you've got a box here with just a few accessories in it. You've got your charging cord, you've got your retrieval hook, you've got your leash, and then you've got your brushes for the bottom. First thing we need to do is charge the unit. So I've got it moved over here by my outlet. Uh, this is really simple. You're just gonna pull up your flap here that exposes your charging port. Then you'll take your charger, plug it in. And you'll see you'll get some uh, green light indication that it's on now. And then if you come down here to your charger, you've got a red light here. When this flips to green, that means that your unit is fully charged and ready to go. While this is getting charged up, we'll go ahead and attach our leash on here, or as they call it, a floating handle. So a couple things to note on this, what you want this handle to do is uh, float right at the surface. So when you're attaching your leash here, you're going to let it out and you want to um, get enough distance so that this matches with the depth of your, the deepest part of your pool. So if the deepest part of my pool is around five feet, then I'll just make sure that at five feet, uh, when this is at five feet, that my leash is floating on the surface and not pulled underwater. Once I've got my uh, leash measured out to the correct length, we'll just take it and tie it onto the unit. So now I've got my leash attached properly with my floating handle. And then with the provided hook, you can put this on uh, your telescoping pole. And now no matter where the pool cleaner is in your pool, um, I'll be able to grab this floating handle and uh, pull the unit to the side where I can pull it out of the pool. Our charger light's showing green now, so we got full charge and we're ready to get this thing in the water. One last option you have is to install these brushes on the bottom of the cleaner. So you can just flip it over and uh, pretty simple. They've just got some tabs that pop in to place. So these, uh, these brushes They'll uh, help the pool cleaner enhance its cleaning performance, um, but there is a caution that with pools that have uneven or rough bottoms, the uh, cleaner can uh, get obstructed um, trying to get around that stuff when it has these brushes in. So th the recommendation is that you run it without these brushes first and just see if it uh, performs the job you need. And if you're having issues with uh, performance, then you can add the brushes in and see if that helps. Okay, as we put this in the pool, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, make sure to submerge it fully. So I'll just hold on to this handle and lower it in until it's underwater. And I'm going to hold on to it until all these bubbles go away. All right, once the bubbles stop, you know it's completely submerged. And we can go ahead and hit our power button to activate the cleaner. It's kind of difficult underwater, but if you make sure you feel a click uh, on the button, you'll see the blue light come on, indicating that it's on. From this point, we're just going to get the cleaner in an upright position and then let go and let it float to the bottom of the pool. And we just want to make sure it lands in the upright position. If it did land upside down for some reason, you're going to want to use your leash to grab it and get it repositioned so that the wheels are facing down and the cleaner is in the upright position. So now that the cleaner is running its normal cycle, one thing you can check to make sure it's working properly is that uh, the blue light will be blinking. So if you can see the blue light blinking, that means you're running on normal operation and you're good to go. Like we mentioned before, the cleaner will run for about 90 minutes. Once it's done, it'll try to find a wall and park itself near that wall so you'll have an easier time uh, pulling it out. But for now, we'll just let it run its cycle and we'll come back and check how it did later. All right, the cycle is complete and looks like um, the unit is no longer on. So we'll go ahead and just pull it out. 
So just grab our leash and pull it over to us. You don't really want to yank on this, you just gently pull it out of the water. And again, you don't want to you don't want to pull it out with this handle. Just use this to get it up to the surface and then grab the actual unit itself and pull it out. You'll let the water drain out of it. And you can pull it up on top. We'll go ahead and open this up and I'll show you what the inside looks like and how to um, pull the filter out and clean the filter after you're after you've used it. So this is pretty simple. All you do is pull on these sides here to open it up. And then that whole top will come off. You can set that aside. And then now you can see the filter on the inside. So I can already see some stuff here. Um, but let's go ahead and pull the filter out as well. And you'll see what we managed to get during that cleaning cycle. All right, so the filter out, you can see it actually did pick up a lot of, uh, of the smaller junk that was in the pool. And I'd, I'd like to say my pool was pretty clean before this had just gotten um, skimmed and cleaned manually before this. So you can kind of see the level of detail that having a pool cleaner will help you uh, clean your pool too. So all we need to do now to clean this up is we can actually just use a hose to wash all this out on um, the filter here. And then uh, the same with, with this basket in the bottom here, we'll just clean it all off, get it all cleaned up and um, put it back so it's ready to go for the next use. Okay, so I've cleaned everything off of the garden hose and it's looking all fresh again. Uh, as you put this back, very simple. All you have to do is put the filter back in first and then uh, when you put the lid back on, all you need to make sure is these two kind of notches that are shown here are on the same side as your handle, right? So as I grab this, put this back on, I'll just make sure the handle is on the same side um, as these notches and everything will pop back into place. Okay, so for initial thought of how it performed uh, for the price point, which is definitely cheaper than you can spend on these uh, pool cleaners. Uh, I think this one's around $300. Um, I thought it did a very good job. I thought the cleaning was uh, it definitely picked up more than I was expecting it to in that 90 minute cycle. Um, when I opened it up, I was kind of surprised about how much of that little um, uh, particles that it picked up. Uh, my pool didn't have a ton of big leaves or anything down in the bottom of it this time. So I'm not sure how it'll handle the bigger ones. I'll have to try again once I've got some kind of bigger debris down there. Um, but yeah, all in all, as far as the actual cleaning, I thought it did great. As far as the uh, function of it, at first I was a little uh, worried by kind of this leash system and having to use this and having it drag around and um, use it to pull out. But when I actually used it, I found it pretty easy and pretty simple. Um, I'm comparing this to uh, an older system I had that uh, is not battery powered. So it's got to have a, a power cord that runs to it. And that cord that it uses is a lot more cumbersome and a lot harder to kind of uh, unroll and, and get out, you know, from the storage area to put in the pool. So honestly, uh, this one, just being able to charge and then pull out wirelessly, um, I thought was pretty neat and uh, pretty easy to use actually. I flipped it over now to show one um, thing I noticed. So I've only ran this one time and you can already see it's kind of getting beat up around the edges. So um, I think this is, has to do with kind of the round edges of my pool. You know, as far as the automation goes, it, it does kind of bounce around your pool, um, which is okay. I mean, this is just stuff on the bottom. It looks just kind of on the surface here. So I don't think it's a huge deal, but it's something I'll definitely have to track as I continue to use it to see um, if this ends up wearing out faster than, than normally it would. And the only other concern I've had so far is this um, seal for the power cord. You can tell I've only used this one time. You can see it's already kind of uh, popping up a little bit here. So there you can see it better there. So, you know, as I try to push it down, it's, it's wanting to pop back up. So not quite sure how well that's sealing or if it needs to seal. I think for now, just um, when I pull it out of the pool, I'll just open this up and make sure it dries out uh, completely before I recharge it again. But I have a little concern that that might um, uh, cause some issues down the road as I try to charge it if this if these uh, this port in here is getting wet. Yeah, so all in all, I think this is a great pool cleaner. I think it gives you a lot of bang for your buck. Honestly, there's a lot of cleaners out there that you know go up even into the two thousand three dollar thousand dollar range that I've heard nightmare stories with that, you know, only work for a few months or a year and then they're done. And now you've, you're dealing with expensive 
um, repair costs, etc. So, you know, for this price point, I think the, the ability this cleaner has to um, pick up stuff effectively from the bottom is perfect for these small to medium sized pools where maybe, you know, you're doing the maintenance yourself or you're even paying somebody the maintenance and you just want to um, throw this in to kind of help out um, throughout the week and make that manual uh, cleaning just not as hard, right? If you end up getting one and try it out, let me know what you think below. If you have any questions for me, let me know and I'll try to answer them. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next project.